I have a single line across my palm. You sure you didn't like sleep on your desk or something? This guy's girlfriend was born without a nail on her finger. So they put googly eyes on it. So you have a half blue eye and a half brown eye. So when they ask you on your driver's license, what color eye you got? Uh, brown blue. Some people naturally have a hole in their ear. Ooh, free ear piercing. And it's in a spot that's really metal. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out people with very rare features. This little girl was born with a patch of white hair on her head, which is the same as her mom's. Whoa, it's like Sweeney Todd. So it's called poliosis, where you have hair with no melanin. So it basically grows without pigment. I think it's so unique and so beautiful. Some people don't have a long palmar muscle. So this muscle, oh, I believe I have one. Look, check that line. Touch your little finger and thumb and slightly lift them. Oh, it has to be against the surface. You see that? I have one. So this muscle is from our ancestors who used to climb trees. So if your ancestors were privileged and did not climb trees, you probably don't have one. <laughs> if you don't have one, don't worry. It's supposed to be useless in modern life. Whoa! Is this real? This tongue got some extra taste buds. <laughs> Extra spiky. So on the bottom of the tongue, it's kind of like tentacle-like flaps. So they're harmless. It's just like a skin tag or a skin growth. It's just on the bottom of your tongue. But they have the potential to get stuck in your teeth. Ugh. Imagine eating or just like moving your tongue in your mouth and they just... Ow! I don't know how I'll live with these. I'll just probably snip. Ugh. I have a single line across my palm. You sure you didn't like sleep on your desk or something? Smash like if you looked at your palm. Okay, mine is not straight. Mine goes skirt and skirt. Hello, would you like to see my palm formation? I present to you my palm line. And now I'm the queen of England. Speaking of palms, some people have an X. Wait, do I have it? Oh, so the two main lines, if they cross and form an X, it's supposed to be a super rare trait. And some people say, it's the sign of a strong character. Wait. <laughs> I just keep looking at my palms like it's gonna magically spawn an X. Hold on. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm a little thirsty. Mmm, that's some good water. You know what? I'm gonna drink this all myself. There's also sectoral heterochromia, which is when one eye is split into two colors. So you have a half blue eye and a half brown eye. So when they ask you on your driver's license, what color eye you got? Uh, brown blue. Pick one. This woman has a condition that causes her eyelashes to grow in multiple rows. Wow, I'm actually jealous. Girls pay so much money for eyelash extensions, me included, sponsored by the Short Lash Gang. And she got these long, luscious lashes. <gasps> they got three fingers, but they're very large fingers. Bro, those aren't fingers, those are claws. I mean, honestly, these three fingers are all you need. So when you get a job at Disneyland, you can direct people like this because they're not allowed to point with one finger. They literally have to do this. Which way to the bathroom? That away. <sighs> oh, so this is called symbrachydactyly. Unlike the claw y'all saw before, this is a condition where the hand is underdeveloped. Okay, but where's the thumb? You see some people, they blessed with bonus thumb. And some people, they got no thumb. Life isn't fair. You know, it's so hard for me to do serious videos. <laughs> so only 35% of people can gleek. Hey, I've gleek before. That makes me a gleeker. So gleeking is when you go like, I don't know, you make this weird position with your tongue. It usually happens when you're eating or talking to someone very important. And then it just like spews. It's like when you hold your thumb over a hose, but from your mouth. <laughs> So less than 1% of people can do it on command. Catch me trying to do this on command the rest of the video. How do you do it? It's safe to say I'm not one of that 1%. My son has symmetrical hair whorls, which go in opposite direction. Oh, so most people got one of these in their head and it's just like the direction of the hair. You see mine, it's so messed up and dank. I don't know man, my hairline is something else. I have never seen someone with a hair whorl as bad as mine. But he got two of them and it allows them to basically like grow a natural mohawk. Cause they just like swirl in opposite directions and just like, woo. Cool scalp bro. <gasps> Ooh, whoa, I've never seen this before. Bro, I thought my eyes were acting up for a second. I'm like, what's going on here? Her pupil is so small. It's somebody like, use liquidify in Photoshop and just, ah! So this is one of two conditions. So it could be coloboma, which is a hole in the structures of the eye. And it's super rare. Or the pupil could just be displaced. I wonder, does it affect your sight? 
<gasps> they got two eye colors, except it's part gray. Whoa, it looks like it's brown, green. I see some green, blue, hazel, but we just gonna call it gray. I think that's actually beautiful. I wish I had gray eyes. You know, when I was little, my mom showed me a picture of her mom and she had green eyes and then I was very upset because I wanted green eyes and I knew there was a possibility that I could and my dad's jeans ruined it. Oh, it was a much simpler time. <laughs> So a customer came in to buy a ring and the salesperson was like, hey, can I take a picture of your hand? She's like, go for it. And she has six. Wait, six on each hand. Six fingers. Whoa. Bro, it's like having two pinkies. I think this actually be pretty dope. If they were like functional, what could you do with an extra finger? I'm trying to think. <laughs> you could firmly grasp things much firmer than a regular hand. Oh man, I can't tell you the times I played Guitar Hero and I wish I had another finger, I had a longer finger. These piggies inferior. Or playing piano, you got a whole entire field advantage. I wonder if they charge you extra for a manicure. She naturally has elf ears. So the tip of them just points a little bit. I will low-key wish my ears did that. I love elf ears. If only they were a little pointier. You know, I'm trying to think of a unique feature that I have. And the closest I can think of, which is not really that unique, but my tooth, it's really sharp. Huh, one is sharper than the other. Do you see it? That one. Every time I touch it, it's very sharp. <gasps> I saw that and I was like, whoa. That is the longest thumb I have ever seen in my life. Bro, this is a hitchhiker's dream. You just stick that bad boy out there. Brakes are slammed. That is a mighty fine thumb. Get in. Imagine thumb wrestling with this dude. <laughs> How about no? That ain't a thumb, that's a tree. This dude was born with a scar on his eye. It's like someone karate chopped his eyeball to the side and he got this super cool battle scar out of it. So this does cause blurred vision because it is affecting the retina, which is the part of your eye that lets you have that sharp vision. This man has albinism, which makes all of his hair white. I think this looks super cool. I had a blonde friend when I was younger and she had blonde eyelashes, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody with white eyelashes and eyebrows. This is crazy because some people naturally have a hole in their ear. Ooh, free ear piercing. And it's in a spot that's really metal. <laughs> but it's natural. Some people are born like that. So this happens to about 5% of people and the hole is genetically inherited. So it doesn't do anything. It just looks cool. And it's like free real estate for some earrings. <gasps> Why? Ah, I don't like this. He got eight fingers. His hand is like a butterfly. Bro, this is scary. Is this Photoshop or is this real? You got a, literally like a claw. Oh my God, this would be so useful. Think of all the things you could hold. Mom asks you to bring the groceries from the car. You go in and with your double grip and then you got a whole other hand. <laughs> no matter how much bags you got, you only ever make it one trip. So this girl has heterochromia, which is when each of your eyes is a different color. And she's a ginger. Significance is that it's supposed to be super rare to have both of those unique features. This is crazy. This dude has five fingers on one hand. Like five fingers and no thumb. I mean, this work, right? Fingers are like a thumb, but like more bendy, less grippy. I'm sure he can make do. What kind of finger do that a thumb can't do? Okay, I'm trying to like see if it affects picking. Okay, yeah, you can't like, you can't grip like a thumb can. That thumb grip just hit different. My dad has six fingers on each hand and two middle fingers. Oh, so that's how it works. See, the other girl had two pinkies on each hand. And then this dude has two middle fingers. That's a lot of fingers, sir. That's illegal. I've seen this before, but this is supposed to be a really rare thing to do. I don't know if it's double jointedness or just being able to bend your hand backwards. So it's like, this is how I grab a water bottle. But then some people can just like, I will break my little fingies if I try to do this. Basically like, fingers went skirt the other way. I can't do this. Can you? This guy's girlfriend was born without a nail on her finger. So they put googly eyes on it. <laughs> Perfect, he fits right in. Why you look like a Slitherio snake? <laughs> Slitherio. Slither.io. I see no difference. Give this man a skin. Okay, she definitely gotta be charging less for a manicure. This boy was born without a bridge in his nose. Oh, I knew somebody like this growing up. It was my friend and he always got bullied because people were always like, what's wrong with your nose? And he didn't know, he was just like, this is the nose I was born with. It was really so sad. So the person who posted this picture said the perk is that your nose never bleeds. Also, I wanna know about them airways. Does the air just like, for somebody whose nose is always stuffy, like I can never get a clean <laughs> inhale of air through my nose. It makes me wonder, it's like, can it just like go straight up? I don't know, can't relate. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the yes! 
and comment below a unique trait that you have. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.